Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahakwadash. Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn. To you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala <clears throat> with Great Millstone Chicago. And I uh, just want to hop into something quick. Um, through the spirit, uh, I wasn't able to get to a lesson yesterday. So, um, but it was on my spirit to touch on um, honoring your father and your mother. Because uh, yesterday, this present evil, wicked world was celebrating Mother's Day. All right. And um, in in actuality, you're supposed to honor your your mother, not only your mother, your father as well. <laughs> hey, not just one day out the year. All right, it's supposed to be every every day, you know. Um, but um, along with that commandment, there was given a promise. All right, so I want to touch on that. This is Ephesians. Six and two, it says, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. All right. So this commandment came with a promise. All right. And then what was that promise? Let's get it in. Exodus 20 and verse 12, it says, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahweh the Lord thy God giveth thee. All right. So that was the the uh the promise that came with this commandment that if we honored our father and our mothers that he was going to um give us a long life that thy days may be long upon the land all right but um um two two things as well i wanted to touch on this is you know before you can even say that you you uh serve god or um that you you love god that you believe in god etc right but here it is you're disrespectful to your parents your, your your fleshly parents, you know, how can you serve your heavenly father if, you know, you you can't honor your earthly parents? All right. Not only your earthly parents, we also have spiritual parents. All right. The apostles of Great Millstone are considered spiritual parents as well. All right. Uh, uh, Paul was, uh, you know, he's he said that he was a uh, Timothy's basically Timothy's spiritual father. You know, it's the same thing with the with the apostles of Great Millstone. You know, they're uh, like a father figure, you know, raising us up to be men. All right. Of the Lord. Not only that, but as well as like spiritual mothers, they're nurturing us with the sincere milk of the scriptures. So if you can't honor your your physical parents and your your physical, uh, your spiritual parents, how are you going to be able to honor the most high God that we can't see. All right. All right. We could see our physical parents and our, our, our spiritual parents, which are the, our teachers, you know, in this truth. So if you can't um, honor them, how are you supposed to honor the heavenly father? All right. And I got one more. This is Job four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, Whoever perish being innocent or where were the righteous cut off? Now, I bring this scripture out because we uh, bring this scripture out to prove that nobody perishes. Nobody dies being innocent. And that even goes for 
a, a, a newborn baby fresh out of the womb, you know, um, whether they uh, be a stillbirth or, or they, they or pass away at a young age, a little three year old, four year old get hit by a stray bullet. You know how the news goes with that. And what do they always like to say when that happens? Oh, the baby was that child was innocent. But the scriptures say who whoever perished being innocent. All right. Now, when you have an understanding of uh, the, the Bible goes into reincarnation. All right. We, we lived in the past. All right. We passed away. And every three and four generations, we come back in the flesh, same spirit, but in the new in a new body. All right. And, um, you know, the they understood that in the ancient times. That's why the 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 um, who was it? The. Uh, the scribes, uh, that's why the disciples said, why do the scribes basically say Elijah must come first, you know, because they understood reincarnation. And in, in John, the ninth chapter, the disciples asked you, how is I who sinned this man or his parents that he was born blind? OK, so in order to be born blind. All right. Um, how can you have sinned? All right. If you only live once. So, um. You know, when you see these these uh, young ones pass, you know, at a young age, hey, that's a sure toe sign that they were wicked towards their parents. OK, because if you did honor your father and your mother, hey, God gave us a promise behind that, that we were going to live long lives. All right. So when you see these uh, these little young 18 year old punks. You know, a lot of our uh, Israelite um, children, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Not only them, but we have Israelite foreigners that have been scattered through the four corners of the earth that uh, look like the other nations. You know, they, they don't even make it to see 18. They, it, it'd be a, a miracle if they could make it to 21, you know. But why is that? Because the Lord is judging them because they they don't honor their father and their mothers, their their earthly, physical, right? So, if we were to do that, the Lord will bless us with a long life. All right, and that was the first commandment with a promise. Ephesians six and two: Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Exodus 20 and 12, honor thy father and thy mother. Now, this is the promise that thy days may be long upon the land, which Yahweh, thy God, giveth thee. All right. So just know when you see these little rascals get get taken out, even in the infant age, hey, they did something in their past life that the Lord ended them, uh, ended their uh, their life uh, short, you know. Lord willing, this was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.